Hey guys, welcome back to Hershey's Garage, and today we are going to be reviewing this guy, which is the Hickety head unit that I bought uh, a few weeks ago, and I haven't had a chance to go over everything, so this isn't a comprehensive review, but it will go over a few reasons why I bought it, and I'll go show you a few of the things that uh, are pretty cool on this thing. And... Uh, it was definitely worth it, so let's get to it. All right, let's first show you a picture of what I'm talking about here, and this is the 10.1 inch touchscreen Hickety brand head unit. It supports Bluetooth, uh, it's Wi-Fi capable, which means that you can use your hotspot and watch Netflix or whatever your favorite programs are uh, while you're going down the road. And I'll show you that uh, later on, which is really awesome. Uh, it's GPS capable, it, which means that uh, it's got its own navigation app and I think it's here, that's what it's called. Um, then it is a course an FM radio, wow! And then it supports uh, an Android or iOS uh, phone mirror link uh, app. And then it also comes with two, two dual USB inputs and a backup camera. And as a side note, this is all the stuff that comes with it. Uh, the LED camera, video cable, camera power cable, camera input, power cable, the input and output RCA, GPS antenna, the two USB cables, metal frame and screws, and the user manual, which of course is uh, not an actual physical copy of it. It is an online manual. All right, guys, and here we go. Let's start her off. Uh, so first, we have to obviously get power to it. So I'm going to turn it on, and here is your home screen. Uh, you have your basic information, uh, you know, the time, the day, and the date. Oh, and it's going to go right to the radio, so let's pause that. I will hit the uh, on and off button just for a second, which mutes the actual stereo and then we hit the home button which is right there and then we get back to the home screen and you can change this wallpaper setting uh, so you don't have to look at the basic screen back here and I believe that's by hitting and touching the screen like that and then it gives you uh, I'm not sure if you can see that but it let's see if it can zoom in here it gives you the option to do a wallpaper or the widgets and we're not going to do that right this second so let's hit out of there and zoom back okay so here are some basic um, apps that it has on the home screen but let's go to this little button right here which goes to more of the apps that it's got on here and you can scroll through you've got all these apps uh, but we're going to focus on just the ones that are on here right now. And basically, okay, so you got a calculator in the bottom here. Uh, yay, always need a calculator. And to go back, you can hit right there, or you can hit up here, which is the little back sign right there. Okay, then we have car settings. We hit that, and it goes through sound uh, settings, system info, factory settings, car settings, Android settings, all that, all that good stuff. Um, oh, brightness. Um, so if you want to adjust your brightness, I have, uh, I, I kind of played around with a little bit, but um, that's not a big deal. Navigation, steering, learn. Uh, I don't have any um, steering controls that I needed to really have it learn, but you can do that on here. Logo settings, a whole bunch of uh, stuff that you can play around with. Let's go back from there. Uh, let's see here then you got a file manager and of course if you can download different files so you can play your songs and all that good stuff uh, this is where you would be able to access them too and i don't have anything in the internal storage but it says i have uh 24.09 gigabytes available out of the total space which is 26.58 gigabytes so i have a ton uh, so that's uh 
works out pretty good. I'm going to hit the back here. Uh, local music. Uh, this is where you can download your music and it comes up at. Um, right now it says uh, it's preloaded with, a, I think, a couple of uh, um, settings on here. Uh, this one's Hotel California. Uh, and there's another one, I think, uh, One Love. I don't know who these people are. I do know the Hotel California. That's a good song. But anyway, uh, you can put your playlist playlist on here, and uh, um, and then of course you can search and have it all on there, and uh, you can put as many songs as you want uh, within reason, obviously, uh, depending on how many gigs you have on your uh, um, left on your your platform here. Uh, then we have the net navigation, which I believe that is, uh, oh, okay, it's the, I guess the default is Google, um, Google Maps, but if your Google Maps isn't on here, because uh, you don't have any data, or, um, or you, excuse me, you're not hooked up to Wi-Fi, uh, then I go, I guess it goes to the default, um, navigation which is called like i said uh, here uh, i guess here we go and this is the navigation system or app that is that comes with this uh um oh that's weird sorry i have a pause here because i guess oh it went to that local music radio station um anyway and you get to listen to the music in the background here. But this is their local navigation uh, app on here for this system. Uh, and it's pretty good. Uh, like if you want to go uh, to, let's just say, uh, uh, here's one. It's already loaded on there. Bill Robertson's Nissan. Uh, I hit that. And it's just a local spot here where I live. Um, puts you right to there then you can hit directions and it's finding a route uh, ask you if you want to go to uh, use a lift a uber whatever um, or you can use the bus the existing bus routes uh, or a bike or walk or your car and you hit car and boom it goes shows you and then you hit start and then it will navigate you by talking and it's pretty comparable to the uh, Google Maps uh, it's probably not as good because they probably didn't spend as much money as Google Maps did but uh, not too bad I actually uh, I'll give it a uh, right now four out of five stars uh, so let's head home uh, go back to that screen um, like I said, of course, you got Google Maps, uh, and then your downloads, um, car set, and I believe that is for uh, if you have um, your, oh uh, uh, yeah, if you have your uh, buttons for like your steering, um, uh, on your steering wheel and stuff, you'll hit this app and you can uh, basically go through there and assign which which buttons go for what um, uh, function and like I said I haven't set that up uh, I don't have any buttons on my steering wheel that I can use for that so this is going to be a, a, a non-option uh, then you got your Bluetooth and of course everybody knows what that is it's it lets you know uh, um, you can pair your your phone mine's an LG Stylo 4 uh, and I have a few other phones that are repaired on here from different family members. Um, but uh, this is where you go ahead and pair them uh, at. Uh, and then you can use uh, your phone. Uh, and of course, um, I can't use the phone app right this second. Or uh, not app, but the, this button right now will bring up the phone. Because uh, I am using my phone camera which is my phone right now so it's not letting me use that option uh, but that's how you would get to that uh, to use your phone because you this has a built-in microphone which is right here let's, uh, let's see if you can see my finger 
it is right there and it says mic so you can use this as a microphone uh, when you're uh, hands-free trying to use your phone that's one reason why I bought this and let's turn that off because boy that's getting loud I'll put that in the background um, and of course the other reason why I bought this let's get back to the main screen um, was because of the backup camera and I'll show you obviously uh, I'm gonna have to turn the car on a little bit more uh, and I will put it in reverse and it switches to the backup camera and that is that is another main reason why I bought this because uh, my car is a 2008 Honda Ridgeline and it didn't come with a backup camera and these are very important of course you're looking at a uh, uh, set of toolboxes this is where my car is parked so real good uh, picture there um, uh, but uh, yeah this is this is why I bought it uh, mainly is because I needed that backup camera because in this uh, let me switch you over here and I'll show you in this place here uh, the back uh, right there obviously I don't know if you can see it yeah there we go uh, the back uh, you can't really see out of there very good uh, it's it's impeded by uh, uh, the tailgate and all that so let's put you back over here so you can see the uh, oh, stereo again okay there we go got your back on um, it's impeded by the the uh, back window and it uh, it is not good you need a you, you really need a a backup camera for this this uh your vehicle so uh there we go i got uh got that um and then uh let's see what else i guess you could put uh you know different pictures and stuff on here this is the gallery app and let's click that i don't have any pictures on there so it's going to be blank uh let's go back so hit the back button uh, there we go it's about in focus uh, then you got a calendar so let's hit the calendar uh, that's pretty decent uh, and I guess you can uh, so you can sync it with your Gmail uh, mine's right here uh, you can sync it uh, uh, with the PC which is this option right here uh, and let's see what else you can uh, touch individual days oh, and then add add something in there so local event uh, whatever you want to add um, so you get the point that's that's pretty cool if you want to be uh, more organized so you can do that right from your it's basically a tablet here that's that's what I'm trying to tell you um, oh I did download plants vs zombies that was a free app uh, you can download any type of uh, uh, game that you want on here and you can actually play uh, while you're driving which is not a good idea and I don't recommend this so don't do it but I have been known to do that uh, which is which is really cool because uh, like I said before uh, in the, the intro here uh, you can play uh, YouTube videos um and i'll hit the youtube it does have a youtube app and you can download different apps on here because it does have the play store on here which is awesome so you can download uh um or you can watch youtube on here while you're driving and i i know that's definitely that's a no-no don't do that i've got a thumbs down that's a no-no but uh to be honest with you when i'm driving uh, on a long stretch um, i can hook up my phone uh via hotspot and hotspot this guy and i can watch you know youtube videos or or put this uh, uh put it on a um, um like a uh, uh oh gosh uh, you would see uh, like this I can put it on a video that uh, uh, you can listen to music and I can be listening to different kinds of music if there's especially if there's nothing out there 
And like I said, again, I don't recommend this and it's a no-no because that is not a safe practice to do, but it is actually pretty cool as long as you're not watching the dang screen while you're driving, okay? So that's my, uh, that's my tip for today. But, uh, and of course it's taken a little while to listen to this because like I said, my uh, Wi-Fi out here is not very good. Um, but let's see, is it gonna do that? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, this is a five finger de death punch. Um, and it, boy, it's really buffering. But like I said, you can, you can technically do that. So we're not going to stay on here uh, very long because let's see if it's going to do it. Um, and I can actually obviously uh, download this if I want to and uh, use it offline uh, because I do have an internal uh i do have internal memory in here and like i said it's uh tw i have 25 gigabytes available and i'm I, i'm not sure i think it said 32 that's what i bought this it has 32 gigabytes of uh, internal data and of course you never get that much uh that amount because there's always preloaded cr crap that's on here uh so it gave me about 26 gigabytes so um you can download a few few videos and stuff like that and be just fine. So let's stop this and go back to the home screen. Um, and then on your home screen, whoops, it's very touchy. It, you you definitely don't have to uh, uh, hit these these very uh, hard, which is which is good. But it does have that radio option right over here. Uh, so you can get to your radio, obviously. And let's turn that down a little bit. Uh, so let's, uh, you can check your presets uh, if you want right here. You can put those in, uh, enter them manually just by holding, like say this is 98.9. Uh, you come down here and you hold that and it will switch. All right, don't make a liar out of me. Oh, you know what? I did it wrong. Sorry. Okay, so if say if this is it's 105.8, you go down to save, which is the save button's over here, and you hit save, and it'll save that onto your preset right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, of course, you have it. You can manually go through the stations like this, or you can tap on the stations through here and check. Or you can you do it this way by going back and forth that way. So it does have a few options here. You have uh, the uh, local and or there's local and it'll uh, search all the different uh, towers. And so let's go back to the home screen again. Um, and just like any other tablet, you can drag down. It has an option. This is the uh, the options to check your which Wi-Fi uh, connection you're on. Uh, mine is is uh, that I'm on now is called Fat Rocky, um, and that's my dog's name. Uh, so and he's a little fat, so that's why we call it Fat Rocky. Uh, you can check your Bluetooth, uh, what uh, what device you're on there, uh, your screen on and off, uh, which I guess is the brightness. Let's hit that. I can't. Oh, it turns this the the screen off. I don't know why you'd want that, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> then the amp car amplifier settings, which obviously that's for, uh, uh, like the your bass and tone and all that good stuff. Uh, cleanup. That's to uh, get uh, uh, different uh, um, apps and stuff uh, off of your your uh, internal memory. You definitely want to, I'm going to be using that uh, that button here uh, a lot, I'm sure, um, because I, obviously you want to clean up your internal memory uh, every now and then. Uh, screenshot cut, uh, you can obviously go to, uh, just like the name implies, go to, uh, uh, like I say, a website and you see a picture or something, you can take a screenshot of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, and I, I've used that to uh, set my wallpaper uh, up uh, and I, I deleted it because it was not a good good one so I don't have a picture of that uh, you can go into settings the car settings from here uh, the actual settings and then the car settings 
and then your video output. And, uh, whoops. All right, come on. Oh, no, what is that? Where, how, how did I get to that one? Oh, there we go. Uh, you can go to your video output and let's hit that. Oh, well, it goes to my display. So um, I'm not sure exactly what the video output, I, I guess that would be if you, uh, in the back here, it had uh, the, uh, um, the option to plug in like a external DVD player or something like that, uh, for, like uh, for your kids to watch an external DVD player. So I'm, I think that's what that option is. Uh, and I didn't uh, utilize any of that, so I, that's not going to be a, uh, an option that I'm going to use right this second. Uh, so once you pull that down, then you can go to Notify, which basically lets you know, um, I guess, what uh, what the, what's the last thing that you were, uh, app that you were on. Uh, like there's the, uh, the last app that I was on earlier. Uh, there's a map, I guess, Stay Fresh. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's okay. That's the the um, the here navigational um, map. Uh, I guess it's the uh, uh, so, let's see. Uh, oh, it wants me to update or something. I don't know. Uh, and then here is the ninety-seven point five radio um, uh, hits that. Uh, I guess that I, I was on before. Let's see, I'll click that. Okay, that was the station I was on before, and it automatically goes to that. Uh, but it's it's showing you that you're, I'm not connected to Bluetooth right here. Uh, this is the, uh, um, uh, so the, signal, the signal that shows that I'm on Wi-Fi, of course the time, and then what do you got there? Oh, then that goes to what you were on last. Uh, let's see, pull that down. Come on. All right. Nope, not that. And just like any other tablet, you can uh, go to uh, what you were looking at before. So you definitely want to clear all this stuff off. I've got a ton of that, so I'm going to close all those because there's a ton of that stuff. Um, and that's that's the gist of it uh let's see we have did i miss anything else uh oh there's that phone link i haven't set this up yet but you hit that and you can use your android um usb which i put my usb cables uh, from the back in this little spot here i'll push that down so you can see that right here i stuck them in this little nice handy spot uh, and so I can use that, this little, whoop, this little attachment, sorry my camera, got crazy. Um, I can use, uh, the, you can use the Android USB or the Android Wi-Fi or the iPhone Wi-Fi button. And this is your, to, to uh, mirror link your phones. Uh, whatever's on your screen to the the screen here, but you have to download their um, their app and uh, It's I don't know. It, I haven't used it yet. Uh, I'll I'll go ahead and try it here later uh, And it is a useful f thing to uh, have but I really uh, for right now it uh, It's something that uh, I don't really need to use right this second because I can do everything without having my phone mirror onto onto the screen right now so that's not a big deal but that is obviously an option so uh it is one of those uh, you know things that we'll i'll use later on and i said cancel yeah so let's see and and then i'm just going to show you here's the manual uh, i said it's not uh, an actual physical manual it's on the uh the the screen here and when you touch it uh, you can scroll through a few of the things like the radio and it shows you what to do and if you're uh, you can click on certain options and it'll let you know how, how to use it uh, just in case you don't know exactly what's going on there um, and let's see what else uh, that is actually that it that's about it
I mean, there's a lot of stuff on here. This is only the f a few things that that I'm going over. That I mean, you can go through each of these buttons and 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 uh, go through exactly what's what's uh, um, in detail and what's what's all available. Like I said, I've only had this for about a couple of weeks now, so I haven't done all this. But I've uh, the main things. Like I said, why I bought this was for the um, the um, hands-free technology, obviously Bluetooth. Because, uh, you know, who, who doesn't need hand-free calling nowadays? Um, and then to be able to watch uh, Netflix and Hulu and all that good stuff. Uh, not while you're driving. Okay, not while you're driving. Thumbs down. Uh, um, but you can on this, which is pretty crazy. Uh, but you can watch it while you're stationary too, which is which is really cool. I go up in the mountains a lot of times and uh, um, or uh, I'm just sitting around doing nothing dropping uh, my kids off at school or or whatever and uh, uh, you know I want to watch watch TV so you can you can do that um, and then uh, of course the backup camera ah that's just a that's just a cool thing it's a must for for uh, uh, owners of a rich line and uh, then of course navigation because obviously I uh, you know there's uh, many places where I don't know where I'm going so navigation is definitely a plus so those are the few of the options uh, hopefully this this uh, video isn't too long I know it I know what it's going to be obviously but uh, um, uh, thanks for for tuning in and uh, staying here for all, this long uh, video and hopefully you learned a, a couple of things about it I do give this a thumbs up it is a, pr a pretty cool uh, touchscreen uh, head unit, and um, and I if you have any questions, uh, just uh, comment below. And if this uh, um, if you like this video, give it a, give it a thumbs up, please. And uh, just comment below about anything, because uh, obviously YouTube likes that, uh, and I do too. I will answer all your questions. And if uh, if you uh, didn't like this video, or if you did, or uh, you just want to say your favorite color is red. I would have really appreciated because it does uh, give me uh, uh, more of a YouTube algorithm uh, set to where they they will recommend this video. So please do that, uh, and I will I guess see you on the next one. Uh, so thank you very much. Peace. <laughs>